Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing a what I eat in a day. I'm just gonna show you guys some yummy recipes, some things that I'm making, some of my favorite things to make, um, along with some new stuff. Um, I love cooking, I love eating. You guys know this if you watch my vlogs or just watch my videos or follow me on Instagram or anything like that. I love food, I love eating, so I love cooking. And I love to make really delicious, healthy things that aren't restricting, aren't, anything like that i love all the yummy things so i make really balanced meals or i aim to make really balanced meals every single day for every meal like i've mentioned in previous videos i am not a nutritionist i'm not a dietitian i'm not a chef i'm not anything i just like to share certain meals because i like to get lots of inspiration from other uh creators on you know meals that maybe i never would have thought of pairings like pairing things together that i would have never thought of um, and just things like that. So I am, like I've mentioned in previous videos, currently eating in a calorie deficit. I am trying to get myself in a comfortable, just feeling good. I'll say that. You guys know also I'm very anti-diets. I'm anti-restriction. I'm anti-cutting any food group out. So none of these meals are going to be restrictive as far as cutting out carbs, cutting out sugar, cutting, I don't cut any of that stuff out. I just load my food up with really nutritious things, tons of veggies, tons of fruit, and make as big and satisfying meals as I can on a slight calorie deficit. So um, what I use, because a lot of people will ask, they usually ask in other videos, what I use to track my calories and if that's something that triggers you or bothers you then i would just say not to watch this video because i totally get it being someone that has eaten in disordered patterns a lot of my life but i use my fitness pal and i'm not like really a slave to it i will kind of measure some things other things like a lot of vegetables are like super low in calories so sometimes i don't even track that but yeah that is what i will be using just because i get asked every single time i do a what i eat in a day or if i mention like weighing out my food in a vlog so yeah today my three meals is what i'm gonna show you guys so you can even see if you're interested in watching the video i'm gonna make a hash brown breakfast bowl for lunch i'm gonna make a shrimp a shrimp ceviche like a shrimp inspired ceviche i'm not gonna say it's full-on ceviche um, but it's a recipe that my dad always makes and it's kind of like a seafood salad and it's cold But I like to do it just with shrimp because I don't feel like buying conch and all these other fish So I'm doing it with shrimp and some tostone de pana, which if you don't know what those are, they are breadfruit It's a huge fruit in Puerto Rico, but it's not sweet and it tastes just like plantains like exactly like platanos and then for dinner i'm making a burrito bowl a chicken burrito bowl which i'm very 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 excited about so let's start with breakfast so for this specific recipe this is what i'm using i have a teeny tiny avocado from trader joe's they're really really tiny so the entire avocado is like half of a house avocado they're like very very small um these hash browns that are also from trader joe's i used to eat these all the time um, and I stopped buying them, and I don't know why, because they're delicious. Also gonna use a chunky salsa. This is from Pace, um, and this is the medium. This is, I think, yeah, 10 calories for two tablespoons. These are, I think, 120 calories per uh, like patty, and then I'm gonna do two eggs and some goat cheese. So I'm gonna make just kind of like a little bowl. I'm going to use my air fryer. This is the air fryer that I've had. I've had this for years and it is like my saving grace. If you do not use an air fryer, you are missing out. So I'm gonna use my air fryer and then I'm going to cook the eggs. I think I'm gonna do them like a sunny side or like a, not sunny side, uh, over medium. So I'll show you guys how I make it now. All right, so I always start off with doing the Patty, so I'm just taking one of the patties. I don't put any oil, I don't put anything. I just air fry it 390 until I'm ready for it to be done. 
While that is air frying, I'm gonna take some pure Irish Kerrygold butter. This is really the only butter that I use. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it. I feel like everybody knows what this butter is at this point. Yeah, this butter, it's unsalted and for a tablespoon, it is 100 calories, which I don't even need a tablespoon. That's a lot of butter. So, have my teaspoon measuring thing here. I'm just going to turn that on. So like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, so like I mentioned in the intro, I do track, I don't track like super like insanely. I just, I like to have an idea kind of what foods that I like, how many calories are in those foods. I find it actually kind of fun to see like what delicious things I can make under a certain amount of calories. So the only thing that I've eaten today aside from this, or not eaten, I had my coffee, and my coffee is 88 calories based on how I like to make it. I don't try, like I don't restrict how much creamer and like milk and stuff that I like in it to stay under. I just make it exactly how I like it because I'm not cutting anything out of anything. I like delicious things like I said, so how I like it, I use a quarter cup of regular milk and then I use two tablespoons of oatmeal creamer and that's all I use and it's 88 calories so that's basically my coffee and then I'm gonna go in and just add the hash brown the hash browns are like I said 120 calories I'm gonna go in and do my eggs which I'm eating two that's 140 calories the chunky salsa Two tablespoons is 10 calories. A, I need to measure out the avocado. Um, Cause avocado can get super, super high in calorie, but I am just eating, I'm gonna eat this whole, this whole thing. Um, like I said, it's really little. These are the teeny tiny ones. So one full avocado is about half of a Haas. And that's usually what I eat. I usually eat about half of a Haas avocado. See, they're so little and cute. Going to get out my scale. This is the one I use. I don't even know what brand this is. It's very old. I got it at like Bed Bath & Beyond, but you can use whatever. And I'm just curious as to how much one house, I've never, I haven't, since I've been tracking my calories, I haven't used one of these avocados. I always just use the regular one. So I'm just curious to know how much compared to my Haas avocado, this one is. So I'm just scooping it and I have it set to grams. Normally I eat about 40 grams of avocado. Cause I just, like I said, I just eat a half of an avocado and that's always around 40, between like 40 and 50. But I'm going to eat this whole little baby cause I like avocado. So, and I'm almost positive. It's at 22 right now. Okay, so this is 55 grams of avocado. So I'll literally just go in and 55 grams is 88 calories. Boom. Then I'm going to measure out my goat cheese. And I don't want too much. I just want a little bit over the bowl. So this is six grams of goat cheese. Now that I have all of that pretty much measured out, I'm gonna crack my eggs into the pan. And like I said, I just have the teaspoon of the very good butter. This is an art place pan, by the way, just in case anyone's curious. And then in here, like see, you can see that the, or I don't know if you can see, the hash brown kind of lets oil out already. That's why I don't add any because um, it doesn't prevent it from getting crispy and like delicious. So I'm just flipping it over so the other side can crisp up. I'm gonna smash up the hash brown. Um, so I will show you guys once it is done and I start assembling it just so you can see the final thing and then I'll put the calories on uh, the screen just if you're curious. Well guys, this whole time I thought I was recording and it wasn't. So 
Basically in here, I have the hash brown and I smashed it up into a whole bunch of pieces so that it's kind of like a bed for the eggs. Then I have two over medium eggs. I like runny yolks, so I do that. Then I'm going to put the avocado and the goat cheese. Just pour that right on top. This doesn't look as pretty as what I thought it would in my mind. Probably because I already combined. So avocado and all that is in there. And then I'm going to go in with the hot sauce. Or not hot sauce. The medium sauce. And I'm going to measure out two tablespoons. Not even sure if I want that much to be honest. Actually, yeah. I don't want like... Cause this is so wet like this hot sauce this sauce is so wet i don't want it to like make all the food super wet so i'm gonna just adjust i am a hot sauce girl so i'm going to put some louisiana hot sauce on top just for some spice and then the final touch final touch is a little bit of salt and pepper so i'm literally just going to shake a little bit on top crack some black pepper and that is my little breakfast bowl. Like I said, I've never eaten this before, but I think it's gonna be good, because how could it not? Hash browns, runny eggs, avocado, cheese, chunky salsa. So I'm going to enjoy this and drink it with some water or eat it with some water, and then I will see you guys for lunch. All right, so it's been a few hours. It's actually about to be three o'clock, it's 2.59. And I'm about to make my lunch. So for lunch, I'm gonna be having like a shrimp ceviche inspired type of thing. In here, I have the Trader Joe's Argentinian shrimp. Those are my favorite shrimp to buy because they're really big and like fat and meaty. Um, so I have some of those defrosted here. They've been sitting in the fridge. And then you're gonna need bell peppers. You can use orange, yellow, really any. You're gonna need red onion. You're gonna need tostones de pana. You can also do this with like rice. You can do this with like french fries. You can do it with potato chips. You can do it with, um, it'd be really good inside of like tacos. Really any like starch or something like that. You can also use regular plantains if you want. They're pretty big too and as far as like seasoning and flavorings you're gonna need lime this is very 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 important and then you're gonna need oregano which is also very important salt and pepper red pepper flakes and garlic first things first is chopping there's a lot of cutting involved so i'm just gonna put you guys here i have the bana sitting right there just so they can thaw out a little bit and then the first thing i like to do is cut the vegetables this is not the knife that i would normally use but whatever so i will take as much vegetable as i'm in the mood for sometimes i get more sometimes i do less and you're gonna cut them really skinny like julienne i think is the proper term but you're gonna cut them very 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 skinny You can put make them smaller, you're just going to chop them however. I like them in strips like this because I like the crunch of it. My green pepper is bad, so I'm just going to do some yellow and some orange. I usually just use whatever I have. Um, so This knife sucks, I don't know why I'm using it. And then you're also, which I'm about to do, gonna cut the shrimp into small pieces because we're not cooking that. Shrimp is gonna basically cook with the lime juice. I don't really normally 
measure them because they're like nothing in like a calorie sense. Um, but I'll do it, I guess, for the sake of the video. So bell peppers. Thirty-five grams of bell pepper. That's seven calories. Literally nothing. So sometimes there's like no point in even counting them. A lot of vegetables are very, 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 very low calorie. Um, so now I'm doing red onion. I like these sliced really, really thin. Another really good herb to use in this is um, cilantro. I just don't have any. Cilantro actually makes it 10 times better, but my cilantro is bad. So all the veggies are here. Let me put some red onion. Then for the shrimp, I like to cut them into really small pieces um, so that when I season them, they're like fully coated. So I cut it up like that and then Everything is just gonna go into the same bowl. That's there. I'm gonna use a little bit of avocado oil spray. I just do like a couple sprays because I just don't like a lot. And then I'm going in with garlic powder, black pepper. Red pepper flakes, some salt. And then I'm gonna take the lime. Squeeze that in there. I'm only gonna use half for right now. And I like a lot of like citrus in my food, so if I end up wanting to add more, then I'll just add it later. And then all of the vegetables in there and I'm just going to mix this all together I'm gonna add a tiny bit of paprika this is smoked paprika it's one of my favorite herbs and I love the color that it gives All you're gonna do for that and you're gonna put this in the fridge to sit while you cook the bana so then for the bana i'm going to air fry it i actually hate air fried tostones a lot of people say it's the same thing it is not the same they don't taste the same they don't get as crispy the texture is not the same but just for like saving calories because oil is extremely high in calorie and it's not even something that you eat so i do a couple of sprays of the oil on both sides and then i will put these in the air fryer i don't really like set a time i just keep watching them and keep turning them until they're the way that i like them all right you guys i'm sorry in this video i have not looked very put together because it's been a full-on computer work day so this is the only video i'm filming today i have not even vlogging today i'm literally just editing 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 photos editing videos working on my computer emails all that stuff so it's not a very glam day so i just am not very glam Probably, probably don't even care um so in my air fryer i have my bana which is basically about to be done so i'm going to show you guys the plating normally with this i would do avocado on the side but i definitely want avocado with my dinner um so i'm trying not to eat all my avocado not have nothing to do with calories or anything like that i just don't want to eat all my avocado so i'm going to take my bana right here here I've got my shrimp 
Um, I prefer to let it sit as long as possible in the lemon because that's what's going to cook it. But I'm also really hungry and I don't want to wait. So I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like so you can see. The shrimp is pretty much cooked. To be honest, like you can see the outsides of it. Mm, there we go. Probably going to let it sit for just a couple more minutes in the fridge with the cover. Let's put a little bit more lime. Then I'll show you guys once it's all plated. Okay, I literally just ate one of my tostones plain because I'm hungry. So we're just gonna plate this. We're just gonna do it. Honestly, I might not even want all of it. I do want all of it. Who am I kidding? So this lunch right here is 287 calories. Delicious, big, filling, balanced. And yeah, it's gonna be delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and I will see you guys. I will see you guys for dinner. So guys, I finished eating and it was incredible and I'm not overly full, which is something I try to avoid for lunch because if not, I don't get hungry for dinner and then I get hungry way later and I'm usually like in bed by like 10. There's times that I'm like not hungry till like nine o'clock at night. I don't want to eat that late just because I don't want to cook that late because I don't want to clean up that late. Um, so I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to have a little snack, a little sweet snack. And I'm going to have, these are the best, the best ever chocolate covered pretzels. I'm like, that's like one of my favorite like chocolate snacks. I love the sweet and the salty. I like the chocolate creaminess with the with the crunchy um so these are the ones that i get these are the trader joe's milk chocolate covered mini pretzels for five of these pretzels pretzels it's 140 calories it says 28 grams so i'm gonna see if there's more they're very rich because the coating on the chocolate or the coating on the pretzel is thick like it's not like a little dip it's like a thick layer so normally i don't even need that many like if i want like a snack or whatever I'm gonna do six and that's 40 grams of pretzels. Make sure I have room for everything that I like. This is 168 calories. So still for the day, I have about 600 calories to eat, which is plenty. And I'm still eating everything that I like. The best, but if you've never picked these up, next time you go to Trader Joe's, get these. All right, so now it's dinner time. I am about to start prepping dinner. So, I'm gonna show you guys how I make it. I'm making, I'm gonna make chicken with like fajita veggies, like cut up bell peppers, onion, all that stuff. I'm gonna make jasmine rice. I'm gonna make black beans. I'm gonna turn mine into like a burrito bowl thing, which is really, really good to eat if you're on any sort of like calorie deficit or anything like that because there's so much in it that makes up a big bowl that isn't a lot of calories if that makes sense it's so good and i have i think 600 left so i can make like something huge but i'm not going to because i still want to have dessert or wine i'm not really sure but for me i have this organic free-range chicken from trader joe's i'm using all of the same veggies that i use for lunch I eat like fajita style veggies with almost everything because I just, I really like them. So in here I have jasmine rice going. I'm going to take a little bit of this and show you guys what I do with my cauliflower rice to make it like more substantial, I guess. Jasmine rice, water, olive oil, and salt is in that. All right, so all the chicken goes in here. Okay, so all the chicken is cut up and in here is the chicken, olive oil spray, oregano, chili powder, cumin, paprika, garlic, salt, and pepper. You can obviously season it however you want. Those are just the seasonings that I literally put on everything. So just mixing this up. So now for the black beans. 
Um, I make my black beans pretty simple because compared to how Puerto Ricans make beans, very different. Supposedly that's what my mom told me anyway, so I've always just done what she tells me to do. One day I'll have a bigger kitchen for all of my filming. I'll have a little pan, pot, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just gonna put it on and put some olive oil. Honestly, I'll just use the spray, it's the same thing. And then, these are the beans that I'm using. This is from the Iberia brand. I don't know what this is, but we get it all the time. And it's just uh, regular black beans. And it is 100 calories for half a cup of beans, which I don't need that much, that much beans. Even though I like that much beans, I don't need it because of all the other things I'm getting. Pouring them here so I can clean them. I just used the can, so my mom always told me anyway. Fill the can up halfway and pour it into your beans. So now I'm taking garlic, cumin, a little bit of chili powder, salt, pepper, and most importantly, bay leaves. These are very, very important in really all Spanish food, not even just black beans, but this is very important. Sometimes I'll put two if I want like a strong flavor. Then I'm just gonna season it. Now I'm just gonna let both of those things go while I prepare and just like get everything else ready. I'm just gonna chop up my vegetables just to prepare them. I like cooking my vegetables after I cook my chicken because I want the flavor of what's left over on the veggies. And when I cut them, I cut them pretty big. Like I like pretty big pieces. I don't do them skinny like how I did the, um, for the ceviche situation. I like them in like chunks, like bigger chunks. and I'll cut them like, kind of like this. Like I don't make them too tiny and that's just my preference. I know some people don't like big chunks of vegetables, but I do. So here's all my vegetables. I'm just gonna let them sit here while I wait for the other food to cook. I'm also gonna get some other veggies just prepped, like some romaine. Greens are washed. Okay, now I'm about to put the chicken to cook. I already sprayed the chicken with cooking oil, like olive oil, so I'm not gonna put any in the pan. And then one of my favorite things to do is take this Mexican, spicy Mexican style rice cauliflower from Trader Joe's. This is a cauliflower rice. And the only reason that I eat it is not because I'm forcing myself to, it's because this is so freaking delicious. This is the best cauliflower rice I've ever had. It has tomatoes in it, bell peppers, jalapenos. The flavor is amazing. Whoever seasoned this and like got everything going, it's so good. Like I crave this cauliflower rice. And for a cup of this frozen, it's 50 calories. So what I'll do is do a cup of this and then like a quarter cup of regular rice and I'll cook it together. So it'll be kind of like a combination of cauliflower rice and regular rice. Um, and it's really, really good. If you're somebody that wants to mix your cauliflower rice with something, highly recommend doing that. So now the rice and the beans are on low so that they don't like keep cooking. And now it's time for the chicken to cook.
All right, so here's what the chicken looks like right now. So I'm gonna remove it from the heat. And right in the pan, I'm gonna put all the vegetables. On the veggies, I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt. And I'm just gonna do a very little bit of olive oil spray. So I like to wait for the veggies to start like getting brown on the side. They're getting there. Not exactly where I want them yet. So I'm gonna let them just keep cooking. Here I'm already starting to measure out the food. So I have about a cup of greens. I have 65 grams of chicken. And then I'm going to add some avocado. Now I'm going to add my veggies. I'm only gonna add like half of this mixture. So I'm gonna save the rest for tomorrow. So in this pan, I'm gonna add a little bit more spray oil. I'm gonna dump in my cup of cauliflower rice. and a little bit of regular rice. So I'm still mixing it together, but it has all the juices from the chicken, all of the flavor from the peppers and onions. And I'm just gonna cook that up for just a second. While that's finishing, I only have to add two things. Sour cream and cheese, a must. The sour cream right in the middle. That is 14 grams. Cheese, I'll put the cheese here. The rice has a little spot right here. Last thing I need is lime. That is it. This entire dinner is 369 calories. Look at this, so much food. Every food group, literally, huge, balanced. There's everything on here. Delicious, and I still have 111 calories to go. Like, look at that. Freaking incredible. Hey guys, so editing me here, future me here from this video. I never filmed an outro. I don't even remember. Let me see what my food ended with that day. I don't even remember what day that was. It's like, I'm way in the past or I'm way in the future now. Okay, so I ended the day with 1,403 calories. I had 166 left over. Yummy, yummy, yummy meals, filling meals. You guys saw I ate everything that I wanted. I just, you know, track what I was eating and I know that's not like ideal for a lot of people I never really did it to be honest because I felt that it was gonna be feel like a job kind of but once you get the hang of doing it it becomes super simple honestly and it makes me feel my absolute best so I hope you guys enjoyed all of these recipes let me know down below if you end up making any of them I know a lot of you guys end up recreating tons of recipes that I share so I know videos like this might not be for everyone and might not be the reason that people watch my channel but i love food and i love getting recipe ideas from other people so i figure i just share them with you guys as well so i'm so sorry my dog is being a nut um i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys next time